Hello and welcome back to another episode of Pub to Prim. I'm your host, Captain Benny Man FM, and I welcome you to this Football Manager Ultimate Challenge where we take a level 14 pub team all the way to the very top of the English footballing ladder that is the Premier League. What have we been up to where we were last together? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I've got a bit of news for you. I was playing all the way until the game that we were supposed to be playing to get promotion on, as I promised that in the last episode. But the news has come a bit premature. <laughs> We've promoted, basically. There it is. We were scheduled to play against Nostal on the Sunday. Obviously, everyone else played on the Saturday. The results have fallen my way. And Southampton United Services are promoted from the Northern Counties East League Division 1 up to the Northern Counties East Premier League. Fantastic stuff. Well, I'm very happy to be in this position because today's game that I'm going to be in against Nostal is more of a celebration now than it is to be pressure. So no pressure on. The pressure is cranked right down and we can go and play our own game. But let me show you what we've been since we were last together. And as you can see, we've played so many games. We've got through two big, big months. And I talk about January because there was a lot of football played in that. Last time we were together was against Rossington, Maine, where we were talking about being invincibles. Well, that came to bite me on the backside because in the next game, we went and lost to Penniston Church by two goals to one after going 1-0 up, which was a bit of a stinker. But we followed that up by coming back to Westfield Lane and getting a 3-1 victory over Shirebrook with Judy, Hayes and Henry all getting on the score sheet. And then that was followed up by even a better result in the quarterfinal of the Northern Counties East League Cup. And it was a 4-0 thrashing of the team that was currently at that point sitting in second, Dromfield, where Hayes, Edgar and Kaminsky getting on the score sheet. We then played Ems of Manor's Welfare once again, and again it was a close game, a 3-2 victory this time away from home, and it was a big one for us. We went 3-1 up, they scored with two minutes to go, and we held on for the three points. Then we were back to the FA Vars, and it was the fifth round, and this game was a big one, because North Shields are a league, maybe even two above us. They're just in a different region when it comes to the part of the country that they're playing on. And it was a 1-1 draw after going 1-0 down to a James Lee goal. Michael Hayes got it back to us, and it was a real contest. And we took that real contest and took it away from home and got the victory. We went 1-0 up after 60 minutes through Kaminsky, the Polish right midfielder, who's our backup right midfielder these days, to Megani. Scott Field got the equaliser, but then we scored immediately from the kickoff to make it 2-1 and to go through and into the next round of the FA Vars. We had a bit of an hangover from that game. We took it into the league. We didn't really change many players around, and we only got the 1-1 draw against South Cave United. Wesley, they'll get in on the score sheet, but they equalised on the 65th minute, and that was that. But then our players were rested and then we played the bottom of the table and it was a nice 3-0 solid victory from us. Per Samuel with a penalty, Judy getting two, game set and match. So then we played at home again <laughs> and after going 3-1 up with only half an hour to go, we threw two goals away and conceded two late goals, an own goal and a penalty and kicked ourselves in the teeth a little bit. Ended up coming away with just the one point and a 3-3 draw against Hull United. And we weren't in the best of forms and we took that form into the quarterfinal of the FA Vars. I was thinking about bringing you this game, but I knew we were going to lose it for some reason. Really did. Four goals in the first 20 minutes though in this match. They went 1-0 up. We made it 2-1. They scored immediately to equalise to make it 2-2. And then with only minutes remaining on the clock, Harrogate Railway got the victory and got the three points. Well, not the three points. They were going through to the semi-final of the FA Vars and we were out. But whenever we get a strike on us... We always come back with a vengeance and we, after suffering that defeat in the cup, we went away from home against one well main and got a 4-0 victory and a thrashing of that. Michael Hayes, Wesley Lowe, Alex Padella and Kareem Henry, the job lot. And we've just finished that game off with an absolute crazy one as well. We were winning by four goals to one with only, well, four goals to two, sorry, with only minutes to go. And Tyler Hunt scored in the 87th and the 90th, and then hit the bar in the 94th. We nearly, nearly, nearly threw it away after Michael Hayes' hat-trick, Padilla and Emery getting on Scotty. We hung on for the W and the three points. And like I said, I was playing all the way up to this point to then get us into position to play for promotion. But like I said, we're playing on the Sunday instead of the Saturday. The results have gone our way, and we are now promoted to the next league. We are in still in the cup for the League Cup, which is like the, the Northern Counties, which is semi-final against Selby. I'm not really that bothered about bringing you that one. I'm more about getting the promotions and getting through these leagues. So I will update you 
in the next episode how we get on in that cup final. But like I said, today is a celebration of our promotion and it's straight onto the match against Nostal. And here we go. Game day is upon us. Nostal minus welfare against Southampton United Services. We are at home today. Let's go and get the victory. Well, actually, before we get on to the game, there is a tiny bit of news and it's actually a significant piece of news because it makes a difference to all these players in the way we start our starting formation and the starting 11. Our assistant manager, Scotty Woods, has been picked up by someone else and he's been taken away from us. We've had to bring in a new assistant manager. That new assistant manager is not only Leeds United, Manchester United and England international former, say that, Alan Smith. And he is pretty decent for this level, let me just say that. These are the attributions that you need for an assistant manager. So he's got half decent, anything above 10 is good. So just below judging player ability, but his potential ability very good. Scotty was very good at that, but man management, he's very much better and motivating. He's very much better than what Scotty Woods was. Very disappointed to see Woodsy go from my assistant manager because we've shared some fantastic times together. Let's see what it takes for Alan Smith to take his position. Can he help us reach the promised land of the Football League before he's actually taken away himself? It was between him and Stephen Warnock, who is also former England international two caps as well. I don't know how I got these two to be on my board, uh, on my staff list, to be honest with you. I gave Alan Smith a bit of a pay rise and a promotion from being a coach up to assistant manager. But back onto the game and back onto the starting formation. And this is the starting lineup that Alan Smith has helped me pick. It's Krajowski and go. Yusef is going to come back as our main right back these days. Instead of Nathan Breeden, we've got Imenez, Lowe and Brewster, Megani, Edgar, Samuelson, Judy, Padilla and Hayes up top. This is what I'm talking about, the difference. You bring in a new assistant manager, you ask him for their coach report and they can say that they prefer a player over another assistant manager did. That was Nathan Breeden was always Woodsy's first choice at right back, but Alan Smith prefers Yusef and I am sticking with him. They're going for a 4-2-3-1 system, pretty much all regions in their team as well as ours. I'm going to come in there passionately and I'm going to say give the fans something they're expecting from us today and then come nicely, nice good cop by cop and say that I believe in them very calmly. Take out to the pitch boys and deliver for us. It's a celebration, the pressure is completely off. And the first highlight after 13 minutes does go to Nostal Miners Welfare. Um, we are closing them down though. The Gargan press is working well and Juddy does win the ball back and here comes Ekin. Can we break? They've got plenty of players behind the ball so we keep it nicely and the ball comes out to Megani and Emiliano Megani goes for the cross early, bounces off their defender, falls to Edgar, puts the ball back in. Fradek with a terrible header. It bounces around a couple of times and Juddy then on the volley whacks it wide. All right, they get the game underway here and after 22 minutes it is even Stevens. It's a clearance from there, guys, and no one's closing Brewster down. And here comes Neil Brewster, bringing it forward. He goes for the long ball over the top. Taylor wins the header. Lee picks up in the middle. Hayes wins the ball back. He's got a player in the middle. Can he give the pass to Padilla? He can. He'll pass it into the back of the net. It wasn't the greatest pass in the world, but it was enough for Padilla to get there, tap it in, and get his 24th of the season. And this is... A fantastic start from us. I was about to say this is pretty much game over because we don't normally throw any leads away when we go in for it, especially at home. And it's going to be a mountain for Nostal Miners Welfare to climb already. I can't get the words out of my mouth today. Saying that though, 33 minutes on the clock and here come Nostal now. They've had a lot of the ball. We've kind of sat off them and then wait for them to kind of dilly-dally on it a little bit and then we've cracked them on the break and I feel like that's what's going to happen again. And here comes Hayes, Juddy, Hayes and Padilla all working really well there but then they do get all the players behind the ball and we start once again. Here comes Brewster to Samuelson, goes for the ball over the top. Here comes Juddy, lovely pass from Samuelson to Hayes and do you know what? If Barcelona scored that goal, we would be standing and applauding. So that's what I'm going to do. Applaud that one. 23 goals this season for Michael Hayes, the Gibraltar International. Juddy with a nice little bring down, gives it inside. There's Hayes. It is 2-0. I'm going to say it. It's game, it's set, and it's match. And we're going to be celebrating promotion like champions. Saying that, though, ball goes into the box. And we're going to break here. And could we get a third before the break? Ten minutes to go before half time. And here comes Bagani. Can he get the ball into the box? He's got plenty of players. It's Juddy to make it free. Oh, he smashed it against the bar. And there is Edgar with the re rebound to tap it home. And it, we are absolutely flying today. We've got a fantastic performance. We've been very inconsistent recently. 
felt like the pressure was getting to some of the lads, and like I said, the pressure is off, and wow, I mean, he hit that with some force, it bounces off the bar, Edgar's there with a the tap in, it's 3-0, it's over. And it's half time and it's 3-0 to the soldiers, and all I can say to the lads is that I'm very pleased, just keep it going boys, playing out of our skin today. They get the game underway, they've got a player called Salami. There goes Megani with a free kick, oh he smashes it against the bar, they get the ball away, and oh, they survive. I'm going to make a real quick substitution, I know we're 3-0 up and we're absolutely flying, but I just want to show you this lad who has been playing really well recently, Rafael Kaminski who is a Polish right midfielder. We've had him since the very beginning of this save, and but he's only just started breaking through. And as you can see, he's played a couple of games this season where Megani's been out injured, and he played really, really well in a couple of those games. So I, I feel like he deserves a chance. We're going to get Samuelson off as well, because he's on a yellow card, and that's what we'll just leave it with that for now. Ten minutes to go, and there's still highlights here. This game is not over yet. They... Believe that they can get something here. Comes Dale and he fires it into the back of the net. And we've shut off here. We've definitely shut off. We've not played very well in this second half. And they just had a chance before. And they get a chance straight away. Straight after that first one. And I'm not sure where Wesley Lowe has decided to go there. He just left his man. And he fires it into the back of the net for the fourth of the season. It's Southampton United Services 3. Nostal minus Welfare 1. And there's another highlight here. And I'm getting a little bit worried, if I'm going to be honest with you. Murray heads the ball away. Can we get a fourth and just put this game to bed? Kaminsky now puts the ball into the box. He's headed away. Here comes Padella with the header. It bounces around. And here come Nostal. And Nostal are now coming forward. And Dale's going to beat Wesley Lowe to this. And can he get a second? He can. And it's 3-2. Oh, Jesus Christ, what's going off? <laughs> what is going off? Egan with the ball over the top. He knows he had the pace of Wesley Lowe. And Wesley Lowe is literally running in quicksand there. And he fires it into the back of the net for his fifth of the season. And with nine minutes to go, this game is now on a knife edge. And oh my God, I can't even change anything. We're going to come off attacking. We're going to go into a balance. But hopefully we do not concede a third goal here and absolutely implode. Or can we get a fourth ball goes into the box? Marshall's there. Edgar goes for the strike. He's bounced away. And these are breaking us. They're beating us on the break. I'm telling you. But the ball this time is not so good. Youssef does pump it over the top. Padilla's going to try and keep it in. He does. Here comes Juddy. He's hit the post. And they're going to get this one clear. Bruce is on a 6.0 at left back. And got Curtis Carrington on the bench. Who I believe will just do his job for this last 10 minutes or so. He's got the experience. He's got the know-how. We are now hopefully just playing this out and being a bit more sensible. Balls bouncing around. Johnny does put it in the back of the net. And that is game, set and match. We've just made the substitution. Carrington takes the corner, puts it in there. It's a header, I think. No, it's a shot by Kaminsky. It hits his own man. So off Padilla, straight into the path of Judy, who just volleys it into the back of the net. And it's 4-2. We've had more action in these last 20 minutes than we had in the whole game. And here come Nostal again. And it's Murray coming forward to Salami. Salami to Dale to Doyle, who's going to go off the strike mm -hmm. here. He scores, and this game's not over. <laughs> oh, my days. <laughs> what is actually going off? In the last game, it was a 5-4, and in this one, it's 4-3. And if this is not alarm bells for me, that we have not got a very good goalkeeper and a good defence, I mean, that one should be saved. He palms it into his own net, and this could be the end of Kudzowski's season because he's not playing very well at all. I'm not going to touch anything. We're just going to try and hold on here. I think time is going to be on our side. And I think the referee is about to blow. We've now gone over the 95 minutes. Kaminsky does really well. And we walk away with the smallest of margins of victories. Uh, <laughs> seven goal thriller. And we need to really have a look at ourselves when it comes to these final 10 minutes. Because that's two games in a row where teams have nearly pushed us and got an equaliser. There's confirmation. There we are. That is the 4-3 victory for us. And I'm just going to show you the stages. It shows you there the P standing for promotion. We are in to the other league. I'm not fussed if we win the league or not. I don't really care. I mean, it'd have to be a massive collapse for us to lose the league. We are literally only a couple of games away. I would say one or even two mm -hmm. games away from maximum points. And we will go on and win the league. It's been a fantastic season and I'm not going to show you the rest of it. I mean, there's only a couple of games to go. There's just loads and loads of friendlies. So it just looks like we've got loads of games to play, but we actually haven't. They are money-making games. I'm going to play on. We're going to play, hopefully get to the cup final. We're going to go through that as well because that's not an important issue for us. And we're going to come back for the season number six off the back of 
promotion number five and we're going to be in the premier division then we're only three promotions away from the vanarama and the national leagues it's getting ever so close ladies and gentlemen and i'm very excited to see what's going to happen well if you've enjoyed this episode as much as i have give it a like give it a thumbs up let me know what you think of the series so far in the comments section below if you do like these videos then go to my YouTube page and subscribe at Captain Birdieman FM. All the information is at the bottom of this screen. And if you're on Twitter as well, go and follow me at Captain Birdieman FM. You know the drill, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I'll be back in a couple of days' time for another episode of Pub to Prem, where we will be in a new league, season number six. Come on, boys. Up the soldiers. Bye-bye.